is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Banff. Today we are going to go around Lake Louise. We're going to walk around and show you more of Banff. We are also going to try to get over to Lake Moraine if we can. So check the timestamps below and let's keep this cruise going. All right, well, today we are going to head over towards Lake Louise. I got the Super Pass for 25 Canadian dollars. That allows me all routes, at least according to what the little computer chip said. We'll see. I have like a scenic route to Lake Louise and then a, an express route. Look at all that snow on those mountains. Okay, we've arrived at Lake Louise. The bus took about 45 minutes. Now I've actually got to find the lake and the trailheads. All right, we have arrived at Lake Louise. The ride took about 45 minutes from Banff on a bus. Probably get here faster in a car. But you can see. Very crowded here. There's the Fairmont. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to head to the Fairview Lookout. Hotels up here right now are running anywhere between 500 to 600 Canadian, and most of them are actually sold out. Let's see here. Here's the Fairview Lookout. Yeah, so it's not like I'm sweating too bad. I'm really not sweating too bad. Just lacking breath. They said it was like 1.4 kilometers. It looked really close, but I guess I was wrong. Oh man, got a little bit of a flat. I like flat. Sometimes we don't have to go up any higher. I think I'll be able to catch my breath. <sighs> Gotta use both nose and mouth here. All right, I think we're getting close here to the lookout. Looks like there's a lot of people actually. Oh wow, overflow water, huh? Lake Moraine's getting, or Lake Louise is getting so much water, it's overflowing. There's the Fairmont. What a cool lake, huh? I 
got restaurants and shops over here. Let's see, I'm so thirsty. I'm even hungry, but I definitely need some water. So I got this Moscow mule here. It's got peppercorns in it. Well, it's actually not a Moscow mule. It's a mule with ginger syrup and peppercorns. So here's the actual reception area for the Fairmont. Had a great meal there at the restaurant. All the Alpine. Oh wow, look at that view. It's a great view. You get a great view right here. All right, we are back in Banff. And let's see if we can get to the hot springs where the other Fairmont is. So Banff is actually named after a city in Scotland or a town in Scotland. That's how it got its name. Population of people who live here, 8,500. In order to live here, you actually have to work here. So you can't just live here and not do anything. You have to live here and work here. And that's part of their sustainable housing plan. So let's keep cruising through here. All right, so what I'm doing now is walking through one of these neighborhoods. Towards Tunnel Mountain, there's some hikes over here. So I was looking for a trail. This trail here is known as the Hoodoos. It's like above the river. This would be interesting. The Hoodoos. I don't see any signs for bears, although all the trash cans out here are basically bear safe. I think there's like a cascading waterfall down here. I just want a good view. It's my primary focus here. Yeah, that's a good view. Be careful in the nature like this. It's a bit wild and rugged. It's like out Alaska. Alaska is similar like this. Well, here's the view. There's the Fairmont. Not too far away. Oh. All right, let's head back up. Okay, so we're back down here on the river again. Had to go up and over. This is the pedestrian bridge. It'll take you across the Bow River. There's a nice path there. Wonder where that takes you. Okay. 
real cool. All right, we've now made it to the Fairmont. It was built in the early 1900s, but it burned down in the 1920s or somewhere around there. And when they rebuilt it, they put a lot more rock. So you'll notice it's like a rock fortress. Really cool, huh? All right, they have springs. is the inside it smells great the rooms here cost about five hundred dollars no five hundred to nine hundred dollars depending on the time of year all right we're just kind of cruising around the uh fairmont springs here beautiful hotel i mean it's like a castle unlike any hotel i've seen in a while i mean to the extent that they've created this massive, massive compound, hotel compound, resort. They do actually have the hot springs, but you have to go towards the gondola, which I'm not doing today. But you can add that to your list of things to research, the gondola. I think it's called Fossil Mountain. And down here is the golf course. What else we got going on down here? Soon I will come back and play this golf course. That looks like a gorgeous golf course. Oh my gosh. That is an unbelievable golf course. Look at that view. Can you guys see that? All right, we're uh, getting closer to the Bow Falls. We'll see. All right, here's Bow Falls viewpoint. Amazing, huh? Look how powerful that is. Wow, look at that. That is some serious raging water right there. You wouldn't want to mess with that. Yesterday I was over on that shoreline over there. Oh, wow. So here's the top of the Bow Falls right here. You can take the trail across the hill there to the other side. Kind of where the rapids begin. Right. This. Okay, great. There's the pedestrian bridge down there. So there's a couple trails here. You can see the one right along the banks. You can still hear the Bow Falls. Definitely the water starts picking up and moving fast right about here turns into rapids and then they have the main trail right there which is like a road they have a bunch of these seating areas though you just sit right here and enjoy the serenity of nature up there I think is where they do some skiing so I see a cleared out green field I think where they do the skiing. 
But look at the Rockies, man. Some towering high peaks the Rockies are. <laughs> so the best way that I can explain the Canadian Rockies is if the Colorado Rockies and Alaska had a baby, it would be the Canadian Rockies. And the Canadian Rockies might just be the hybrid of both of those. Although Alaska is spectacular and so are the Colorado Rockies, but man, Canadian Rockies, they are special. And I've really only seen Banff. I haven't even seen Jasper. Don't get me wrong, the Glacier National Park is great. So is Yellowstone. Oh, wow. those little birds. Chatty little guys. I wonder what they do in the winter when they're frozen out here. Like forest parrots. <laughs> All right, Cascade Gardens, I believe, is right here. Looks open. The gate's closed, so we'll see. Push. There we go. <laughs> Cascade Gardens. Well, on a beautiful day like this, these gardens are really glowing. Banff Avenue right there across the river. Let's see what they got over here. Oh, are they filling up the uh, creek or is it always like that? Looks like they're filling it up, I can't tell. Yeah, I think they're filling it up. I will show you guys a little bit of these gardens, but really you just need to come here and see them for yourself. We got parking right here. I love gardens though. This one's got quite a bit of different flowers. How cool is that? All right. So now we're going to do a evening tour here, cruising at about eight thirty at night on a Saturday in June, late June, June 25th. And we're just kind of cruising here. Lots of people on the streets. Especially as you go through the middle. Here comes one of those buses. If you guys have enjoyed this tour so far, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel, watching some of our other tours across Canada also. Already done Calgary, Vancouver, Victoria. Hey, old Mickey Donalds. <laughs> it's like the only corporation that I've seen here. Oh no, I've seen a Starbucks actually. I like these flowers though, they're pretty nice. I don't know if Banff itself is part of the national park, this town, or how that works. I really have no idea. But I do know the Canadian Rockies are amazing. And it's a nice view to see that mountain in the distance always.
tomorrow I will be going to back to Calgary and then beyond. I know that Saskatchewan, or if that's how you say it, uh, is on my radar, which would mean Saskatoon. I was doing a little research on Saskatoon. They call it the uh, they call it the Paris on the Prairie, and then they also have um, Regina. And then the next one over is Manitoba. There's lots of people out here, huh? It's a very popular place. This is Caribou Street. I have yet to see a caribou or a grizzly or a bear. All I've seen is magpies, lots of birds, herd birds. Didn't necessarily see all of them. And then yeah. Other than that, thanks for watching this episode of Island Opera TV from Banff, Lake Louise. We'll see you guys on the next one.